right here. So it's early in the morning. Now it's really early. Um, and because I'm picking up the boys, I'm uh, picking up Adrian and I'm picking up Carlos. So, man, where the hell did I park? Looks like somebody moved my car. What? what the hell? That's crazy. see my car, so I don't know who moved my car. Yeah, guys, that's weird. Oh, right there. I guess uh, her family moved my car, but alrighty. Anyways, um, guys, I could not sleep last night because I have no idea, but... <laughs> I'm just really right now at the point where I'm really desperate for vintage clothing because I need them for the store really badly, like badly. The fact that I'm already out is crazy. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So me and Carl just went through all these shirts. We got some cool ones. We got the Scooby one. I like this one because it has a freaking sick ass gargoyle on the back. Fuck, that's crazy. 1998 racing. These are all like racing ones, which I thought was kind of cool. I got the Mighty Mouse one, which I thought was awesome. We got a big speed racer, 2000s, another racing one. I think there was multiple of these. Probably should have got more of those. We got this really cool piston one. It's got dirt. That was kind of cool. Got this other one here. Yeah, he's got this really nice yellow, big ass. And then Lau. I don't know. Oh, that's why. I was running across the fucking street and I fucking ate shit. Yeah? <laughs> Dude, I busted the fuck out of this gator. Dude, you're funny. <laughs> so, did you just caught that on video? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hard. Man. That one's cool, right? Maybe. Look at this one. The gargoyle one. Oh, that one's sick. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Where we go? I'm just trying to see if there's anything in here that I can spot right off the bat. What's this? Kitty, it's newer stuff. The only thing I picked up from that guy was that bag, which you guys saw, but eight bucks that was a good price, honestly. Um, is that Tales of the Crypt right there? What's up? No. More clothes in there. There's a bunch of clothes actually. I'm barely going through it. Let's go through, see these right here. Oh, TMT. Ooh. Oh, so this is like 90 stuff. My jam, man. Right well, kinda. It's all mixed in there. What's this? Who made this bag there? Alright, guys, I'm here through the thing with Carlos. And look what we found two vintage Pikachus from the 90s. And then we found two Blizzard plushes. Um, usually go for like 30, 40, 50. I'm gonna look this one up in a bit. Damn, I'm killing it right now. This is a new place I've never been to, so Carlos brought me here. And so far, I found some cool plushes. Um, usually, I look for the sleeve that does not deceive that I don't see any at the moment. Uh, damn, they got a lot of clothes. God damn. If I find anything cool, I will get it on camera, guys. But as of right now, I gotta look at hunts. So, see you guys in a bit. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I just dropped off Carlos. I'm here picking up my wife. Uh, she took the day off today. Um, but I found some really cool stuff. Now, there wasn't a lot of collectibles out there, sadly, at the flea market. So, we went a little bit of thrifting um, because I need clothes. I'm running out of clothes again. Um, so, I'm having a really hard time supplying myself with it because it's just not. You have to, you have to find the really good stuff. I mean, I can find mediocre stuff, but it's just stuff that doesn't sit there for a long time. Um, so I'm looking for that really good stuff that I can, you know, make high profit. 
but I find it for super cheap is really hard. Um, um, and then we went to a thrift store, which I had to pay for some things, which kind of sucks, but I should be making some money anyways. And we found some really cool stuff to make money on, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Uh, mostly plushes, which I was super stoked. But I'll show you guys the clothes that I got. Um, my friend Carlos doesn't do girl clothes. I'm happy that I can because um, a lot of girls are there shopping. But I found uh, he found, and he gave it to me, was a vintage 90s Winnie the Pooh embroidered, um, I forgot what this is called. Uh, a onesie, not a onesie, but, um, oh my God, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but anyways, Winnie the Pooh, really nice. We paid uh, five bucks for this, which is not bad. Um, and I should be able to get at least 20, 25 on this bad boy. Um, so really, really nice. Um, I forgot I, I forgot what he called it, but like I said, I don't do mostly girl, to, uh, girl clothes. And I found this really badass 90s denim jacket, um, Levi denim jacket right here, for 15 bucks. So if you guys know, like I, I think I bought mine for close to $100 for this damn jacket. Um, and I was able to find a Levi one from the 90s um, for 15 bucks. So I should be able to get, if, if I don't like this, uh, at least to get easily forty fifty dollars for this jacket, uh, especially that's from the nineties. So that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite pickups. So I found this uh, build a bear Pete Dragon that goes for twenty five bucks, and I paid four dollars for this, which is perfect. Um, I'll be my competition on eBay for that bad boy. And then I found some promotional Blizzard. Um, a plushes so these usually go for about 25 to 40 um, I paid four dollars a piece on these bad boys so I was super stoked about that I picked up two of those I, I got a vintage blue lake Pikachu for five bucks this should be easily twenty dollars um, eBay maybe like 30 40 on it honestly but I'm, I'm thinking to put this at the antique store because you know who doesn't like Pikachu um, and then an authentic one which I have right here this is a good one. Now this one is an easy $25, $30 plush that I picked up for three bucks. Uh, vintage 1996, 1998, my bad. Uh, Pikachu plush. So if you guys see these, pick these up. And then we found a really cool Tommy Hif, uh, Tommy Hitler, um, or Tommy, Tommy for your mommy, uh, backpack for 15 bucks. Now this is pretty pricey for a backpack, right? Um, but I think I'd be able to get 30 bucks because it's like brand new, really nice, well, well taken care of. I don't even think it's ever been used. Um, but I'm going to fill it up with like uh, um, paper in it and fill it up, make it look nice for a display at the antique store. And this should sell easily. Um, so it's a nice bag. And then last, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything that I picked up at the antique store. You spend about 50 something dollars. So it's pretty, it's a lot of money, but some really good stuff here. So I should easily be making about $200. Uh, probably even more than that, honestly. Um, just on the plushes, should be over a hundred dollars, and just the jacket and the backpack. Yeah, we're probably looking about over two hundred, like two twenty, two thirty, pushing it there. Um, and then everything that I picked up at the Swamp Me, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I picked up these two ninety-eight um, Sawdust dolphins or fishes. They get you hella bitches. You got the Gecko Hawaiian, but look, it's from the nineties. Check that out, nice. And then uh, white tag Nike shirt from the nineties too, I think. So three shirts for a buck a piece. Let's take them. What's up, guys? Good morning. You guys know I am flexing. Tells of the Crip tea that I got from INS Vintage. Really expensive shirt, by the way. But we did some amazing trades. Traded some Shogun Warriors. And today is Friday, so we're going to go to the antique store. Actually, before I get there, because there's going to be sunlight. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I have that I'm taking. And I'm going to show you guys one of the epic finds. Now, if it's authentic, we're talking a few thousand dollars. If it's a reproduction, um, we're still talking about like three to $700 um, for this uh, uh, Chinese War uh, flight jacket that I found for $3. That is insane right um so now if it's legit um we're talking easily three to six thousand dollars guys no joke um i'll show you guys really beautiful jacket 
And the reason I think it's authentic um, is because it's stamped. It has a map in the inside of the jacket where if you pass down or you get shot down, you either, um, it has a, a language, it has like maybe I think seven or eight languages um, to pretty much, a, pretty much, to, I mean, pretty much you carry the jacket and you take it to some official and they figure something out for you. As for the other thing, um, if the guy gets lost out in, in, in the area, there's a map that shows you where you're at, which is outstanding. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's a really amazing jacket. It has serial number and everything, so I think it's 100% legit. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to get a check today with one of, uh, one of my good friends um, by the antique store that does all military um, jackets, clothing, jewelry, you name it, he does it. Um, so we'll stop by and talk to him this morning um, if I don't forget. But let's go pick up our stuff from the dry cleaners, and I'll show you guys what I picked up too. So I'll show you guys what I got this uh, yesterday afternoon. All right, so this is all the stuff that I've gotten like part of the past as of today. I mean, I'm mean, not as of today, as of yesterday, the day before, and then during the week that passed um, this past weekend. Um, so I have some amazing stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff has already been put at the antique store, but some of this has been sitting in my car. Um, and that's the stuff that I found yesterday that I didn't get footage of. I paid $8 for a Michael Jordan Nike store display. Now, one sold listing sold for a thousand dollars. People are asking ten. Someone's asking nineteen hundred. Mine's in a little rough condition. I still got to clean it and test it. Um, I'm gonna clean that shit really, really good and put some batteries in the front because it lights up. Amazing display. It's it's a, it's a grail for any Jordan fan or Bulls fan. Um, so that was an awesome find for eight dollars. Uh, but then we found some plushes, like vintage um, plushes from the '90s. There's another one up there, and then we got this really cool one. Um, so this is a polo shorts. This goes for a hundred dollars. Found me like seventy-five to a hundred. Um, I paid five bucks for it. Um, you don't ever see this kind of like color scheme on these, um, but it's really nice. Um, then we picked up a PlayStation boxed, which I didn't get footage of either. Um, I paid uh, 15 Now, this is for me. And I'm going to get the strike clean today. This is super sick. You've probably never seen one of these. It's a Securities Warner Brothers jacket. Look at this. Insane. I paid 10 bucks for this. Look at that. It's amazing. Um, it's a large. I think it's an extra large to large. So, like I said, I'm going to get this dry clean. Make it look all nice. Uh, make sure it's all clean and good to go. I'll try it on. But I got to get it clean by today. I gotta get this in the storage as soon as possible, get it cleaned. Actually, I'm gonna bring that with me today. So I got this one too that I got from INS Vintage. All over print, really nice. Now we have this at the store for 45. I could ask like 50, 50, 60, but I wanna give good deals to the customers. And this is the stuff that I picked up for a dollar yesterday, which is super cool. I got this really nice Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, early 90s, 2000s. Um, this is like an easy $20 there that I paid a dollar for. A vintage Nike with the white tag. Now, I'm not a 100% like, like dead on vintage, guys. Like, there's people that know their stuff really, really well. I'm still learning as I'm going. I have some good friends that are teaching me as I go. Um, so, I'm really stoked, but I know the common stuff. Like, the white tag Nike. This is an easy 90s. Paid a dollar for that. It's an easy 15 bucks. Then we got this really cool Hawaiian 90s shirt. One stitch. Right there. This is, I think, 93 in the gecko. So I'll, put that, I'll probably put that for like 12, 15, depending. It's all about the image. So we got some Sawdust, 1998. We got some Dolphins. I'll probably put that for like 10 bucks. Nothing crazy. Now this one's cool. Now this one's for me. I had it for me, but it doesn't fit no more. It's, I mean, it fits me upright, but it's too short from the, from like, you know, the length. Um, but width, width-wise, it's perfect. Um, but it's a super badass gargoyle tee uh, from the back. And then the front doesn't have anything, but the back is just insane. Um, this one's an easy $20, maybe even $25, but I'm going to say $20. Um, there's that jacket that I was telling you about. So when you open it up, you see, it's got that map inside the jacket, which is insane. So, so I'll stop by and check it out today. Picked up this Elmo. Who doesn't like Elmo? So we'll probably bring this in the front, actually, because I don't want to get this damaged. But uh, it's, a, it's an expensive jacket, so let's go bring this to the front really quick. Okay, so then this one's mine, but I took it off yesterday because I got a sick-ass shirt. My Godzilla 2000 shirt. And then I got this really cool Felix the Cat 
uh, woman's jacket for five bucks. So it's an easy, like, you know, easy 30, 35, honestly. And then I picked up a My Little Pony for 20. Through a good friend of mine, I got to clean this up and put it at the antique store. So, really nice. Um, you know, usually they range from like 40 to 75, depending on the condition. But I'm going to clean her up really well. I think that is it, guys. Honestly. Oh, yeah, I got some vintage Pikachu down here, too, that I got for a dollar. It's an easy 35 bucks. So, there you guys go. It's been an amazing amazing week um so gotta share that with you guys so there you guys go all right good morning guys um so right now we're gonna go pick up carlos uh he is one of my really good friends um awesome guy guys really awesome very humble um taught me a lot about vintage clothing for the antique store now am i stepping away from video games and collectibles no it's the same thing it's just a business um I'm looking for every possible way to make money, of course. You know, as a reseller, as a, this is my job. I'm trying to, you know, step into different um, areas to make money. Now, I could get into antiques, but just, it's really awesome. I like to learn about it, but just, it's not me. You know, like, I didn't, you know, it's just, there's so much stuff, and you have to look for that one particular um, person that wants to buy that item so it's it's hard guys it's just like i mean there's some cool stuff that, don't get me wrong like i've i picked up some killer stuff in my in my life um but uh for me it's just i'm going with what's trending now what's you know what's hot right now and it's all and it's still the same stuff video games are still hot uh toys are still hot clothing right now everybody's looking for clothing um, for the new era, the, you know, the, the youngsters are trying to learn, you know, they're trying to get into what we grew up with um, in the 90s, 80s, even 70s, um, and early 2000s. So, you know, kids are getting into that. They're trying to figure out, you know, who they, you know, pretty much when you grow up, you want, you're trying to figure yourself out. What, what do you like? Who are you trying to be? You're trying to impress people. So I get it. Like, um, we've all been there in high school. So, and then college students, they just want to buy back um, what they grew up with. Um, as for people like us our age as well, we're looking for stuff that we grew up with that brings that happiness um, towards our life, which is either collectibles, you know, now we have money to spend to buy stuff. It's, it's, it's all that kind of stuff, guys. So you always gotta go with what's trending at the moment. If you wanna, you know, progress and be successful in your business or on, you know, just, or your, just your side hustle, you gotta go with what's trending. Um, and I suggest that for everybody. Um, but if you guys like working, that's fine too. And if you guys have money to spend, then that's awesome as well. Um, as for me, I like doing all the things. I like to work. Um, I like to hustle. And I'm always out and about, you know, hanging out with people, learning the much as I, I mean, learning whatever is, you know, there's to offer. Um, you know, I still want to learn how to make wallets. I want to learn how to, you know, mess with leather. Um, because I'm very old school. I love, I've always loved the texture of leather. Um, and just... You know, man. If, honestly, if I can, if I can be a shoemaker, or uh, you know, make leather goods, dude, I would totally do that for, like, or you know, or even fix watches. You know, uh, making watches like 